is Michelle Long, and I'm an Advanced Certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor, and I'm also a National Trainer for Intuit. And so last fall, I went out on the What's New Tour, and I met a lot of great accounting professionals, and I kept hearing a lot of same frustrations when they're working with the accountant's copy that it wouldn't import their transactions anymore. And in 2009, one of the new features was if you have, say you did 50 changes in the accountant's copy, and two of them were bad for whatever reason in the past, the whole thing would not import into the client's data file. That was fixed for 2009. Now if there's one or two bad transactions, all the rest will import and just those two bad ones will not import. So that was a great upgrade for 2009. It really made the accountant's copy much more functional. But we still have a problem with educating our clients. What happens is the client will create an accountant's copy and then they need to do something and it won't let them. So they think, oh, I'll save her time and she'll never know the difference. I'm just going to cancel that accountant's copy, do what I need to do, and then create a new accountant's copy. Well, the problem is then it won't import. And they don't realize it. And we're over here working in our accountant's copy, making all these changes. We send it back to the client and they cannot import that data file anymore. We need to communicate to our clients, do not cancel the accountant's copy. And they can't restore backup file and create another accountant's copy. It's not the same data file and it will not import. If you have a situation where that has happened, and I had somebody recently, they had, I don't know, hundreds of transactions. And they said, what can we do? Because the client had messed it up to where they couldn't import their changes, and they had like 500 transactions that they didn't want to have to enter manually. If you have a situation where you cannot import the accountant's changes, and you have a lot of transactions, there are some third-party applications that will allow you to import transactions into a data file. So you have a couple of options. You can take the accountant's copy and convert that into a working copy. That is something you can do. Using your accountant's copy in QuickBooks Premier Accountant Edition, you can convert and turn that into a working copy. Then you can import the client's transactions into that working copy. Or you could take your transactions and import those into the client's working copy. You need to decide which file you want to import into. Then the third-party applications that you can look into, there's three different companies there's www.q2q, that's the letter Q, the number two, the letter Q for QuickBooks to QuickBooks.us. There's also Bay State Consulting and Big Red Consulting. So again, that was Q2Q.us, Big Red Consulting, Big Red Consulting, and Bay State Consulting. All three of those have some tools and applications that will allow you to import transactions so that you can hopefully salvage what could have been a really bad situation and serve your client well. So I hope that will help you.